It's on. It's happening. We're here. We're back at work. The gyms are open. It's incredible. And I've been here teaching classes all day. But we're going to start using bits of kit. So, I'm going to use either one kettlebell. I've got a 10 kilogram one here. Or, you can use one dumbbell. I've got a five kilogram dumbbell here. It's just going to be one or the other. You don't need both. Just one or the other so that we can get into this. So, we have two 10 minute circuits. Hi Natasha. Framing's terrible today. Let's sort that out. So I don't cut my head off at the top. Kind of better. All right, two 10 minute circuits. We are going for reps today. So it is on how many reps? We're going for 20 reps of everything within that 10 minute circuit, and then you move on to the next exercise. So we're going to make it nice and simple. First exercise is going to be a kettlebell sumo deadlift. So you hold on to your kettlebell with it in between your legs, and it doesn't need to be a kettlebell. It could be a bottle of water. It could be two tins of beans, or it could be one dumbbell, whatever you've got that you can just hold on to is cool. And we're going to try and pull whatever you've got apart. So I've got a handle of the kettlebell, I'm trying to rip it apart, I'm trying to rip it up and see what happens to my chest when I do that, pull through. And I drop down into this and tense my bones, stand back up. Drop it down, tense my bones, stand back up. Drop it down, tense my bones, stand back up. And it's got to be this strength from your hips here. So it can look like this, where you drop that kettlebell right in between your feet. If you don't have the mobility to keep that kettlebell as close to you, then you can drop it to here and your bum travels back, you drive through. What needs to happen if you do it like that is, your back stays stable. So you are good at keeping this stable back so you don't reach the kettlebell down and see how my spine has done the thing. I want it to come from your hips. So we're going 20 reps of that. And then we're going to go for 10 on each side of shoulder press. So with the kettlebell, you'd hold it in rack like this so that the kettlebell goes on the back of your forearm and you're punching up and bring it back. I'm not picking up. So punch it up, back down, punch it up, back down. So it's 10 on each arm. So 20 reps all together. Notice how my elbow stays underneath my fist as I go up and back down. So it never goes up and then sideways like this where my elbow pops out to the side. That isn't it. Keep that elbow right underneath your fist so this kettlebell stays pressed into your forearm. If you're doing it with tin beans, bottle of water, dumbbell, it's the same deal. It's just like this where you pull it in tight. We're going for 10 reps on each side. And then, just three exercises, then you down onto your back, and practice this with me. Touch your heels, and then reach out, touch your heels, reach out, touch your heels, reach out. We're trying to get these muscles in our belly to stay on tight. Cool, you ready? Let's get this timer going. So we've got 10 minutes. 20 reps of everything, starting with this kettlebell deadlift. So rip whatever it is you've got apart. So even if you're just holding on to one kettle, one tin can, or whatever it is, you're holding it with two hands and you're trying to tear it apart and the drop kicks down, we're going to do 20 reps. Tense your thumb every single time. I'm not actually worried about this kettlebell touching the floor as well. It can kiss the floor for sure, but I'm not too worried about it actually resting on the floor. And try and keep hold of this, rip the thing apart. I'll show you what it looks like. I do it with this, I've got eight reps left. So I did it with dumbbell, holding onto it either end, and pulling it apart, and pushing my knees out, keeping my footprint quality. And it's making me Make a stable torso. Drop down, tense your bum, stand back up. Drop down, tense your bum, stand back up. That's my last one. Come, and we're into our shoulder press. Ten on each arm. If your shoulders 
and good for shoulder press. You can change this, you can do something not quite so shoulder related, instead you can maybe do some curls or something like that. Don't hurt your shoulder for the sake of an exercise. Remember, what we're looking for is for this to burn out. So if we keep moving, hopefully the exercises come around fast enough that they make you have to rest. Last one. Yes. Over to the round. We've over 10 reps again. So this can be with your bottle of water, can be with your dumbbell, can be with your kettlebell, whatever it is that you've got. See how I've got the muscles in my belly, tense here, eight, two more, nine, last one, yes, there we go, and then lying down on your back, hands to heels, so, my hands to my heels, reaching out, one, two, three, four, five, and keep going with this, all the way to 20 reps, Expect it to burn out. Expect you to have to rest. A little rest. We've only got four left. Four left of these. So you're touching your heels, reaching out. Three, two, one. And back up and back into these deadlifts. So even if you don't have a weight. It's fine, you can still do this. You might just need to like make a fist and try and hold the top half. Your body's strong. Keep trying to rip this handle apart. Breathe. That's it. Keep pulling this handle apart. Tense your bum at the top. That's 14, 15, then five more. Last one. Cool. And then shoulder press with whatever you've got to shoulder press. We're starting from this position here with our fist under our chin. Push it up, pull it back down. Keep pulling it back down. Tense your bum. Six, seven, eight, nine. One more. Ten. Cool. And swapping arms. Get that fist under your chin. Reach this hand out. Which is 20 reps all together of every exercise. Coming up to about halfway. That's one. Come on, left arm. Yes. There we go. And then lying back down onto your back. We'll go for these. Hands to the heels again. So you touch your heels, reaching out one, two, three, four. Going for 20 of these. In terms of weight shifting weight, this is only 10 kilograms. I'm good for deadlifting probably 180 kilograms. That's my deadlift one rep max. For one rep, I could hit 180. This is 10 kilograms, so it's not that hard, but 
I can tune into this and feel what's working and slow it down and I feel it so differently getting 20 reps of this and tuning in how to use my glutes to lift me up so I tense my bum to stand up pushing my big toes down lost count classic let's go four more four three two last one one yes and then into shoulder press so fist under my chin hold this fist down tensing my bum to stay all set Two more. Yes. Keep slowing this down as well and pay attention to what your torso is doing. So if your lower back is doing this where you're like leaning back, try and tense your belly. Make a structure out of the muscles in your belly so that when you push up, you're in control. Three more. Last one. Yes. There we go. So we're coming up to eight minutes. Two minutes left. Hands to heels, reaching out. Five seconds, try and get some caught up on this arm. Last one, yes, there we go. And that is us for our first 10 minute circuit. Let's change it up back to one minute on each exercise this time. So one minute on each exercise, it's going to be jump squats, but I'm okay for this one. So back to no equipment. So hitting these jump squats, going hands out in front, little lift, little lift. I'm not actually after a big jump, so like jumping high like this is all great, but I'm not after absolute maximum power. I'm after just a little bit of momentum and working out how you can soak up this landing and then redistribute that power into your squat. So landing and redistributing it up into the squat and trying for a whole minute on each one of those. And then going to go a whole minute on classic press-ups. 
So we're getting into plank, going belly down, and then push up on your knees into full plank. Belly down, push up on your knees into full plank. And slow down your landing. So we're getting all the way down and up on your knees. And then going to go for leg kicks. So lying down on your back, hands just underneath your bum. Go both feet up, drop one leg and swap and swap and swap and swap. We're trying to get you to understand how to keep your spine still. So you can keep stability here and be able to keep this on. So, yes, good stuff. Amazing. So, let's get this started. One minute on each exercise. There we go. So, hit these jump squats, hands out in front, and a little lift. That's it. So, you're soaking up your landing. And even if it looks like this, look, with a little quarter squat. I only want two movements though, so by that I mean there's down, there's up, down, up. So there's no like down, up, land, down, up, land. It's not that, I want to soak up your landing and get this eccentric loading of your landing, which means the way down, it's kind of like up fast, down slow. We're after these burning thighs. 15 seconds, sit in and drive, sit and drive, and hips driving forwards, do the thing. So again, we're only after three exercises this time. So keeping it nice and simple, that's it. Into press up, so you're going from full plank, like this, drop your belly down, up on your knees, full plank. Belly down, up on your knees, full plank. Rest is gonna fall off. Belly down, up on your knees, full plank. I like these because they train you to go full depth in your presser. So even if it's a little bit free fall at the bottom, that's okay. So if it looks like this, it's all right. A little bit of a falling over is character building. So we've got. 15 seconds, and you rest when you want within this. Five seconds. Yes. There we go. Then flip it over onto your back. Hands underneath your bum. Not actually sat, just hands under your bum. Both legs up. Drop one leg and swap. So what I feel like when I do this is, I feel like I tense my bum to drop my foot. So I'm in control of this foot dropping. So it drops, I tense my bum. There, uh, swap, tense my bum. Swap, tense my bum. Oh, that's hard. So we've got 15 seconds. Keep pointing your toes. Get these muscles in your belly to do the thing. That's it. Back up and back into your jump squats. So sit in and drive hips through, sit and drive hips through. Your footprint is such a big deal with these squats. I want your foot to feel like it grips the floor and your toes just push down, not like they're doing a fist. Like to get all spread and splayed as you push into the floor and you kind of drive your hips towards your hands. So watch my hands go out in front as I sit and then pull back and pull back and pull back and you rest when you want. It's your performance, your deal with how many reps you can get done with this. little rest and then we're into these press ups. So we're four minutes in, six minutes to go. I'm going to step to my 
masses. So belly down, open your knees, full plank. Belly down, open your knees, full plank. And keep your fingertips pressed hard into the floor. Going all the way down, up on your knees, full plank. If you're good for getting belly to floor press up like that, then do that. But if you need this little rest, it can be a bit of a help. When you rest, maybe you want to go into child's pose. 15 seconds. Let's see if we can get a good five reps. Five seconds, but three more. I was trying to squeeze out my last reps. Flip it over. Oh. Lie down on your back. Thumbs underneath your bum, feet up. Drop that foot, drop that foot. instantly but it's all about control and concentration I can feel this stuff working I can understand how I'm making this happen this stability in my spine I can feel it and understand it and that is what I'm after with your exercise not that you just kick your legs up and down and by default your abs hurt you understand how your hip flexors, how your abs are working together in this team. Oh, 
Cool, that's it. Up into our last set of jump squats. Last set, hands out in front, sitting down, drive hips through. Keep soaking up this landing. Push your toes down as you sit. Oh, I'm very sweaty. This is fourth, fifth, fourth or fifth class. I can't, I can't count of the day today. I've still got a couple of PT clients to go. But this is good. It makes me do this stuff. It gets me out of breath. And these get tough. They catch up to me. Last couple. And that's it. That is time. We did it. Two 10 minute circuits. I've got a bit of a sweat on. I'm proud of you all. Oh, hi Jess. Hi Kerry. Oh, thank you very much for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed it. Drop me messages. Let me know what you've got going on. I want to know about your injuries. I want to know what you're strong at. I want to know what you love. What makes you do it more. It's cool. And we'll work it in. Yeah, I really felt it today, Natasha. A lot. I'm not done yet. Still more to go today for me. But it's all fun. I'm so glad to be back at work. Thanks, Elaine. <laughs> so nice to see Elaine in real life in classes this morning. And then across the magic of the internet as well. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Ah, thank you. I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.